Sora LED lamps come into styles. This style, the face has this appearance. That's a two inch wide bulb. Here's a four inch wide bulb. And essentially what they are is they're fixed in their beam width and uh, there's nothing more you can do with the lamp than what it is. Uh, it is what it is. But then they also invented a lamp called a snap-on LED lamp which has a magnet on the center of its face. As you can see this has a magnet. Um, if you're watching this video it's because this is the bulb that is of interest to you. You're wanting to take advantage of that snap-on feature. Now when they built this lamp uh, and they also come in various sizes. They would come in this size also um, and many other styles in terms of you know what kind of electrical connections are on the back and that. Um, when they originally designed this lamp it was so that you could uh, rapidly change its beam spread or beam width with, with a filter such as this just by going like that. It's magnetically held. You could change the beam shape by just putting on a beam shaper. Now it has a square instead of a nice circular round. It's a, a square, 25 by 25 degrees. You could change the, the color temperature of the lamp just by putting on a color temperature filter. That would make it look more sunset-ish. Um, the virtue of these lamps now is that they can have changeability rapidly. They also have a very high color rendering index. All the Sora lamps have high color rendering indexes. And even uh, putting a, a, their, their filter on here uh, keeps the color rendering index still uh, 95 out of 100. It just simply looks more like a sunset. So it would be the equivalence of a black body radiator slowly cooling down. If the physics in interests you, that would be the physics explanation of it. Essentially, it would look, to the person who doesn't know what that means, essentially what that means is it would look the same as a sunlight. Uh, it would give you the same, uh, it, it would provide the same color rendering, colors wouldn't shift, and they wouldn't become less or more saturated than they should be. So this is a, an LED lamp that has a lot of science built into it to keep it to keep its light output look and behave very much like natural sunlight. Um, that's why I favor these lamps because uh, if you're interested in illuminating something uh, you may want to cut into a stake and and see the blood come out. You want uh, a good amount of red, deep red in the in the light output and a lot of cheaper LEDs don't provide that. So, so we're assuming that this is the LED that you're not interested in in this video. I'll have videos for this LED, but you're interested in this one. And because the reason you're interested is because you want to attach one of my filters to it, such as this. This would be used for circadian disruption for an elderly person or a person that has a yellowed lens. You can do this very readily. Um, and these filters come in four colors, depending on what functionality you want to do. And they come in different diameters, two and four inch in different shapes. You can take this filter and you can also incorporate a beam spreader or a beam shaper into it by just going like this. Just magnetically hold that, magnetically hold that. And now you have incorporated two functionalities on one Sora snap-in, snap-on lamp. Um, I sell light fixtures that work with these Sora lamps. So here's a, a ceiling light fixture. Picture it. This is how it would you know look coming. This would be the drywall here, and this would what you would. This is what you would see. Uh, from your ceiling. So this is mounted in the ceiling 
and uh, what you would do is you would take a filter such as this and you would go like that and you've just uh, removed the blue light so uh, to preserve your melatonin on set now if you use my filters you're not going to preserve color rendering and they're not de they're not designed for color rendering um, they're designed for uh, fanatical reduction of wavelengths of light that cause circadian disruption in the evening hour. So, um, although you would say this is a warmer color temperature, but it is, it's not a very, it's not as nat, it's not as natural as sunlight when it sets. It's an exaggeration of a sunset. Um, You could, if you wanted to, you could literally put the, you could literally put this uh, filter on without the extending magnet, but I don't recommend it because you want to give the, uh, the lamp a thermal break. Uh, having the filter closer um, does not allow it to breathe as much, so I would recommend always using this half inch extender and whatever you do keep keep the filters away from the lamp although they did design the lamps to have their filter go directly against the lamp but you could use my little extender to keep it away if you so choose so chose and I don't think you lose much in terms of beam angle uh, precision it looks actually quite a bit the same if you were to cast it against a wall So that's a, a short lesson on the snap-on lamp, and um, now you know the difference and how I'm taking advantage of it with my patent-pending filters.